Today we're going over all the Air Jordans set to drop summer 2025 and I'm telling you right now <laughs> there's a lot of heat coming out next year. So let's go ahead and get started with the first shoe. We have the Rare Air Air Jordan 3s. What do you think about this shoe? I like it. <laughs> See, I like it. No, they. it's a trip because what is that purple or something? It's like a blue, like a navy like blue. Like a navy blue kind of. So I saw these out in New York, mm -hmm. New York Fashion Week. They debuted them at an event. They had the mm -hmm. threes and the fours. Um, I posted the threes on my Instagram, giving people the first look at the shoe. I think these are dope. I think the thing though is like, this could fall on the line easily with like one of them random shoes that goes to the outlet, or you put enough hype behind it and it's like a dope I think it shoe. needs you the hype. I think it needs the hype. I think it's worth the hype. I think it could go either way. I think just because of like, you know how like the elephant print in the front, mm -hmm. it's like light then dark. Different yeah, stuff. You yeah. got the vice versa, all this stuff. And I'm not too big, you guys know. I'm, I'm like, I like solid stuff, like not a whole bunch of colors and patterns and everything else. But I think they did good on this. Here's another image for you. To yeah. Check out that I posted. Mm -hmm. Leather looks nice. Materials. Yeah. Everything suede on the tongue. Dope shoe. With them blue shoe strings. Yeah. Oof. Fire. Okay, so it's a cop. That's a cop for sure. Okay, so next year. It's, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good for sure. Now, next up right here, we have a classic OG nostalgic, can't go wrong. Da da da, whoop de whoop. The great fives. We got these. <sighs> we have to get another pair. These are fire. <laughs> With the Nike Air on the back. The only thing I'd be worried about when I wear these is like they're white. Yeah. And if I scuff them up, then I can't wear them again like that. Yeah. But now if they're coming out, that means you could get some more and you could start wearing the other ones a little bit more. Yeah. That's the only thing I worry about because size 14, <laughs> I'll be hitting everything. <laughs> so the you had a previous release, like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air one, that came mm -hmm. with no shoelaces to resemble like the show. People had to punch the holes in them to put the laces in there. And then the release before, the release before that was the one that you got that we're talking about. The materials wasn't that good, very stiff. We don't like that. These ones, I think they're gonna do a really, really good job. So I think once you get the shoe in hand, you're gonna love it. I'm already knowing I'm gonna love it. Yeah. And I'm looking forward to adding these to the my shoe, collection. Yeah, the shoe low stiff and the materials ain't that great, but the, the color scheme and everything else. The colorway is fire. Yeah. Like, yeah. it look good. Okay, so two for two? We batting a thousand right now. Hot to a half start, hot to a half start. Off to a hot start. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA show. This is supposed to be a women's colorway, Sail Cement Gray. We've seen other shoes that kind of look similar to this. I think the Craft 3 is something kind of similar. They're not making this in a mint? That is a women's colorway. Very simple, clean, can't go wrong with it. I think, but overall, for me, I would say pass, just based on the amount of threes that I have, similarity to other colorway, different stuff like right, that, I, right. I probably wouldn't go after it. I don't but, have many threes, but they ain't gonna make that in 14. Yeah, but that is a clean shoe. Like, it looks great. Classic, you know what I'm saying? You can't go wrong with it. Color blocking is just perfect. No, no print on it though. Yeah. Which is different, right? You got Which is good, it makes it cleaner. Yeah, I can see that. It's clean. Easier to just... dress it up a little bit more? Yeah, Okay. Yeah. Next up right here. Phantom Air Jordan 1. This is supposed to be a women's colorway as well. OG, low. Um, I like it. It's very neutral. It's supposed to be a summertime release, April. I think this is going to be a great shoe. I think people are going to ice this out. And it's got the big swoosh on it. That's, and I don't like it. I think it's a, a great I, everyday little rocker. I don't like. know. I don't know what they did to it. Okay, imagine it's, retail is like what, 140, 160 bucks, let's say. Let's say 160 max on retail, and you get this for an everyday shoe. I just, I don't know. I think it'll be it's, a clean summertime shoe. But me, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't rush out but, and get it. But y'all know me and low tops don't get along. Yeah. So there's certain shoes that's like, it's gotta be bang pal for me for a low top. Okay. So I would pass on it, me personally. Okay, I get that. I mean, Again, like I said, I wouldn't rush out to get it, but when it's an OG low like that. And then you can get it at the, can't at go the wrong Walmart. I mean, it's a... <laughs> <laughs> Yikes. You get it later, you might be able to get it Okay, next up right here, everybody's gonna be hyping this shoe up. We got the Ferrari Air Jordan 14s. I had these in my collection for a really long time. Right. And then, you know, priorities come around, you're like... I never had those. Did you want these? 
I wanted those. Oh, well, I've they're, never they're had They're coming them. out. This shoe is dope. <laughs> the shoe is dope. Uh, but sometimes you got to get rid of stuff to level to up stuff. in life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we know so, you. Oh, we know you. <laughs> that was a part of my batch of shoes that I got rid of when I was getting ready to buy the first house. Yeah. And I was like, I can do this. I can do right. this. You know what I'm saying? I got them for retail originally. Like, I'm not mad. Yeah. So I ended up getting rid of them. And now look, they're coming back. And they'll be back so in the collection. Back in there and you ain't missing nothing. I'm a happy camper. Did everything so, you're supposed to do. Definitely looking forward to picking these up. Uh, yeah, I think it's a dope shoe. And you say it's a cop? This is definitely a cop. That all red. It looked like the carbon fiber, you know. Yeah. Cars and everything that they're the doing right now. Just, yeah, that whole look. Yeah. Clean. Okay, so that's a great shoe. Great shoe worth having in the collection. Next up right here, we got the Aluminum Air Jordan 4. This is a women's colorway. It's white with that soft blue aluminum kind of color they say. And I was just gonna say that. For girls, that looks great. Didn't know it was gonna be a colorway for girls. For girls, that's great. For guys, Because it's pack. not like a UNC blue. Right. If it was a UNC it's blue. It's too soft. It's it, too. It hit. Yeah, they, it they, hit. Yeah, it's too soft. I feel that, I feel that. Okay, no. so next up, what do we got right here? Now we, now we talking. <laughs> <laughs> now we talking. Two we can, classics we right have, here. We can have a conversation again. Okay. UNC Air Ooh. Jordan 1 reimagined. I still got my UNC 1s over there. Looking forward to doing a comparison review and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But definitely going to be doubling up on this shoe for yeah. me. I, this like, a, I definitely need those. I would like one pair myself. Mm -hmm. I don't think I would double up because I don't wear that much light blue. Yeah. But the shoe is dope, and I think, for me, I'd probably wear it once, and then I'd wait probably another year or two before I wore it again. Give me some time. Yeah, yeah, see me, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy these came out. I dogged my other pair, I'm about to dog these, so I need to, because I'm <laughs> for sure gonna be, you know what I'm saying? Like, that's my mindset right. behind it, so. Uh, and I hope the Jordan 1 hype is still dead during that time, but so we gotta you remember. Get up, so you get up. <laughs> you gotta remember though, you got 40th anniversary. Jordan brand 40th anniversary. I think they're gonna have a whole bunch of drops that's crazy. Remember the OG Air Jordan 1 was in 85 mm -hmm. and now it's 2025. So mm -hmm. it's gonna be crazy with the Jordan 1s, all the other colorways, you name it. It's an anniversary year and a Jordan 1 anniversary year. It's gonna be crazy. I think they're gonna have some pop-ups to different places and do some more crazy stuff that people so don't just know like about regular, it. yeah, instead yeah. of like regular releases, I think they're gonna do some crazy stuff and and end up in places like they were there? Yeah. Yeah. That's what I'm I feel excited like about it. gonna happen. We got a new CEO. We got new people coming back to the brand. There's like yeah. things are gonna be shifting. Now, don't get me wrong, like it takes time to get product out, you know, 18 months, 16 months, different stuff. But well, like, they on it right now. Some stuff, they're gonna rush and get some new yeah. special because the exclusive releases, they can bang those out in a few months to get some stuff out, get some dope right. drops going. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see some crazy this stuff is happen. One that, this is one that is a staple. Oh yeah. And I think they're gonna have a big push behind this shoe for some reason. So I'm just feeling like, I just hope they don't flood the whole market with the <laughs> shoe. <laughs> don't flood the whole market. Yeah. I think there's gonna be a new correction with stuff. Uh, we're gonna see a lot of new changes in the brands, both Nike and, and I wouldn't say, I don't know about Adidas. They're, I don't know what they can flood right now. Their Yeezys are tanking and everything else. That's just a whole nother sob story oh for them. God. Okay, next up. Air Jordan 12, Mellow. He wore these when he played for the Nuggets. That's when and, he was at his best. Yeah. If y'all tell me I'm wrong, but I think he was at his best when he was over there. Nuggets Mellow was crazy. Yes. So, again, used to have this. Uh, got rid of these just because of age and it was like had to make the decision the mm -hmm. shoe came out in the early 2000s I kept a couple of my 12s from the early 2000s, but that one in particular Ended up letting go of them looking forward to getting these back in the collection to me 12 was a good hooping shoe Oh man, especially back then they're so comfortable. Yeah, the leather Crazy. everything was and they fit good So yeah, 12 these, was a good hooping shoe. I'm excited about mellow when you was hitting in, in, over there Ah, you was that man! <laughs> you was that man! Okay. All right. Well, <laughs> here we go. Another classic. Air Jordan 4 OG white cement. They're going to bring back the styles, cuts, materials that we want to see. Nike Air on the back. This is going to have everybody going crazy, whether you're a major sneakerhead or not. You just got so many memories with this shoe. But this is what we talked about. 
this is one of those shoes you can change the color pattern so many different ways you can't fail it is still gonna be clean yeah i'm looking forward to these like this shoe right this shoe right here this right here this shoe right here i think this shoe is gonna be one of the shoes that like the shoe of the year to me mm -hmm. if if we keep going where we at that shoe is gonna be at least top three it's gonna be up in there i think it's gonna be like Still it's, some like, maybe some anniversary or collab type sneakers, but I think with the amount of classics that are dropping too, either people are gonna not appreciate it as much or they're gonna like be like, damn, they did it so good. They did justice with this shoe. Right. I'm gonna rank it high. Like, you know what I'm saying? It could be that well, way they, too. I mean, from what we're looking at right now, I don't know about the materials when they come in, but yeah. what we're looking at right now, if they keep good solid materials on there, They've been on an uptrend with the Jordan 4s. You know what I'm saying? Right. They've been doing good. Right. Even look at the military blue 4s. Like, the, the cuts, everything, they did a really good job. Oh, so. yours is signed though. That was it. Oh, we can show them if you want to. <laughs> I don't know if y'all seen this, but <laughs> we talking about this, so y'all gotta see this. Some people ain't seen me got it signed by Tinker. You know. Let me see if they can see it. You know. Is it, is it in focus? Wait, hold on. Yeah. Tinker said, oh, I got that for you. I'll go ahead and knock that out real quick, you know. Is it in focus? There, yeah, we, there go. we go. There right we go. Now it's in focus. Okay. Yep. Yeah, something like that. Had to you get know. those signed real quick. Everybody don't just walk up to Tinker and go, oh, yeah, I got that for you. And he just do that. You know, <laughs> they reminisce on stories. I'm like, man, you know him like that? Hey, <laughs> come on, man. I seen Tinker a couple times in life. <laughs> hey, I put this in there backwards. Yeah, that's fine that way. Okay. okay. Anyway, Next back to right business. Here. We back to business. Air Jordan 8, OG, Aqua 8. Can't go wrong. Everybody's excited. They did pretty solid on the last release. I think you bought me an extra pair of these. Yeah, you got two pair of them. <laughs> I told him he bought me the shoes and I was like, I think I got those already. I didn't realize it. He's like, I don't think you got these. I was like, I'm pretty sure. Then I went and brought the other one. He said, you do. <sighs> but you know what? He didn't take them back from me. <sighs> he could have said, well, you already got them. You don't need them. <laughs> so this is a shoe so you don't need these i don't need to cop these because i already got two pair okay and i haven't wore one pair yet you wore one, one. i wore no i'm saying i wore one oh, pair yeah, but yeah, the yeah, other yeah, pair yeah. i haven't worn yeah. sorry i would say this so i still got one you know dead stock's okay. really good okay but so, this is a shoe i would cop if, if uh if i had to for me it's a cop i think people are gonna sleep on it but then at the same time the playoff eights was kind of like that like they didn't sell out per se but in certain cities they went quick and then the big sizes went fast right so i'm like the aqua 8 might fall in that same boat and i'm like damn if i didn't get it for retail i might have to wait but i didn't get the playoff eights for retail it took me like three four months maybe mm. and then i was at a store and i seen them pop up got them for retail mm. so like it's just a random scenario and i think this is going to be in that same boat when it comes to the shoe i did see more bigger dudes wearing these shoes though the eights are comfortable too i don't know why but they're comfortable yeah people sleep on them Okay. And I think they had a bigger size run in those, like 16s and 15s. And yeah, 16s. they be doing that. Yeah. Okay, women's colorway. The Igloo Air Jordan 11 Low. I think they're cool. It's cute. They're cool. It's definitely a girl you shoe. You know what I'm saying? Light, bright, especially in the smaller sizes, 6, 7, and 8s. They'll be cool. Uh, they solid shoe. It's a solid yeah, shoe. Solid shoe. And y'all know how I am with those 11s and stuff. Okay, now this one, they have not shown the shoe yet but they're doing a trophy room air jordan 6 we don't know what the colorway is gonna be but i know that's my favorite model <laughs> i need two pair <laughs> he's i ain't even seen him but i need two pair marcus jordan <laughs> somebody send him this video i need that shoe <laughs> in pair. my collection two, two pair, pair. <laughs> two pair i'm rocking i only those. need one pair size 14 but yeah. you need two pair two 13s, 13s and 114 we need it right now hey and let him debut this shoe first. Let me show the world. Everybody know he liked the six. I'm gonna give him a I'm the 11 guy over the five review guy. when it comes to this one right here. But if the materials is whacked, he gonna tell you though. Yeah. Nah, they're gonna be good. All his releases have been no. good. For real. They actually been solid. Okay. I need those. We ain't even seen the shoe. I need them. <laughs> I need it. Okay. Oh. Next up we have the washed teal Air Jordan 1 Low. This is a women's colorway. And I'm gonna say, I would pass on the shoe if I was having to get it for my girl or my daughter. Okay. The 11's way cleaner. The last shoe that we just seen. Yeah, I can see that. Right? I can see that. The ones, not so much for me if I had to buy them, you know, for my wife and my daughter. Okay, makes sense. For mm -hmm. 
um if they're actually coming back to that og style with the big swoosh and everything a very exciting thing to see but again yeah it's probably not gonna be a pickup for me per se but right. i like the idea of bringing back the big swoosh and all those things which brings me to the next one the rust pink air jordan one the low the first one that came out art basel exclusive i had a chance to buy the first one and i didn't and then now they're like racks <laughs> And I was like, bruh, do that. I didn't have a chance to buy it for retail. That's why I didn't buy it. Right. It was like, it was like 1600 or something like that for like the, the green and the pink. There's two different ones. Mm. There's, it was like 1600 for both together, my size. Somebody called me, they were out there at the event. I'm like, nah, I'm gonna pass on it. And now it's like three bands per shoe. But see, that's one of those things we talk about. Like people take L's on certain shoes. Yeah. Like I shoulda, I shoulda, shoulda. Yep. But at the same time, you gotta follow your instinct and say, yeah, either do it or don't it's do it. It's not like I didn't like them. It yeah. was just like, I didn't wanna spend that much on them. That right. was the thing. And, and now, it could go the other way too. Yeah. You could have spent 1600 and it went down. Yeah, and I just was like, I'm good. You know, I'm good. We all got shoes like that in our collection though. It is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You can't have them all and I'm fine with that. Yeah. I'm not doing it for the hype. All right, what we got next? But real quick, let me tell you about the shoe. I like it. This is a low top that I would say it would be worth copping. Because it's a black toe colorway. Right. Switch the colors. <laughs> it's on the black toe colorway. You can't go wrong. That one, yeah. It's clean. Yeah, it's clean. Okay. Easy to wear. Next one. And there's something about this shoe. Next one. Every time it come out, I want this shoe. Air Jordan 11 Low Brand. <laughs> oh my gosh. Man. Yes. Very, very exciting. This is one of the best shoes ever made to me. To me. The Bread 11 is... The Bread 11 is one of the best shoes yeah, to me. Yeah, it's up there. But, you know, I'm like the Raging Bulls 5, but for my two shoes, it's gonna be those two. I feel like Infrared 6, Bread 11, Bread 1. Those three, top three. They did something with these. You can't go wrong with those. Yeah. At all. So this is a two pair shoe for me. 14. Two pair. Definitely two pair. I get one. I don't think I would get two of those, but I'll get one. I got all the other ones right there, see? You only got 30 pairs of 11. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, let me see. I got all it. One, two, nah, three, four, five. But there's five. That's not all of them though. No, I'm just saying, look, you got that's 50, right? No, that's that's not all of them though. Yeah. <laughs> that's not all of them. Okay. Next up. <laughs> what we got over here? Okay. Uh, oh, this is crazy. Steel tins with the toe cap. If they do it with the toe cap, that's OG style. Well, look, with the this toe is cap. a shoe that we had. Yeah, that we rocked. Like yeah. this and the black ones. Yep. This was a shoe, and it was comfortable. Mm -hmm. To me, it was comfortable. The OG ones, I remember. Yeah. We rocked ah. until, until you couldn't even read the bottoms no more. Yep. You know how I got the words across the bottom, everything? Couldn't even read that anymore. No I'm ready to get these back <laughs> in the collection. If they do it with the OG toe cap, man, I'm so excited. Cause yeah. I used to have like, I was actively putting the city pack together when mm -hmm. they did that. Well, not when it originally came out, but when I was in high school, I was putting the city pack back together. And then I got close and I didn't get the Sacramento tins and that was what I was missing. And I was like, ended up getting rid of it. Cause it was so old, like yeah. it's gonna fall apart, all this other stuff. But to see a retro, and if they do this OG form with the toe cap, I'm just like, oh man, yeah. I'm excited about that one. That's one for sure I'm looking forward to rocking. Yeah. Okay. Next up right here, we have the undefeated Air Jordan 4s. This was the OG sample. One of the first collaboration sneakers from Jordan brand to get collaborations and things right. going on within right. the brand. And now they're talking about releasing the shoe to the public. I this is where collectors are pissed. They're uh, like, yo, you're disrespecting the collectors that are loyal to the brand. Give us something new. Yeah, on top of that, you finna kill the value of the ones that's out there. To me. Yeah. And then and, other people's gonna say, well, I want it too. We should have it available all the well, time. Well, you should go buy it. it like, it's, it's, if it's you like, want a 65 Mustang, we're not gonna reproduce the no, no 65 Mustang. Right. We'll give you a new Mustang. We're not gonna re reproduce the new Mustang into a 65. Uh, yeah. Not in 2025. You just don't do that. It's disrespectful for the brand. It's disrespectful for the collectors. Yep. If a dude ran out and bought one for a 65 Mustang, just given saying this real quick, sorry. 130,000. Yep. Cause it's stock and it's clean 10,000 miles. 
And then you turn around and go, well, we're gonna reproduce that car, but we're gonna add these electrical items to it yeah. and do this to it, and now we're gonna offer this for 65,000. People are gonna be sick. You just, oh. it's, a, it's It's a, but that's the thing. It's a universal thing like that throughout so many different other like markets as well. And it's like crazy to see this is happening. But that's what we say, like they're running out of ideas, things are bad in the brand, all the different things. Like this is the type of stuff that we're seeing that collectors are like, this is straight up bullshit. Like why is this right. happening? Right. So I get it, like there's certain stuff that should be retro and there's certain things. That, but don't, like let these things be a moment in time. Let right. these things be yep. uh, a part of you had to be there. Let this be the, you know what I'm saying? Like, and uh, create new memories. How do you get the wow factor that it still exists? Right. Like if you go to a shoe show, and you go into places, how do you get that wild effect? Like, oh my God, they still got this. I these? can't believe I saw this. This, it, the, it's in good condition. Right. It speaking ain't broke that, down. Speaking of that, let's let's have some fun with them. Let's have like, some fun with them. Like, come on. Let's show them some carbon fiber 11 lows. Oh. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like, you, you don't. You can't do you see this. What I'm saying? Like, that's the fun and part And if they of being put this out later, it'd be, I'd be. Taste. You see what I'm saying? It's just those are the fun things of being carbon a fiber. Grab the fours over there. Grab the oh fours over God. there. But that's I don't know if you guys can see. But this is the fun stuff that makes it like if you do if you do a shoe, you know what I'm saying? You have to leave it alone. Now there's shoes that came out, and I always said this: the game worn shoes. If it's a game worn shoe, bring it back out. Depends. Depends on that. Well, I'm saying. Oh, oh, you're talking about like if it was Dude, a released game worn shoe? Yeah. Okay, okay. Like Jordan wore the Bread 11s, bring the Bread 11s. Bring, bring it back. I thought you meant like Ray Allen wore this. No, shoe. no, no, no. That's no, a no, PE. No, 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 no. Yeah, I got it. A you. PE different exclusive. I'm okay, talking okay. about the regulars. If they're like, oh, K okay, wore this and this, him and did it. Yeah, cool. it's just a fine line between all of it. And you know, this is a $20,000, $40,000 shoe. And then you got all the other people talking about, oh, it should never be worth that much. Yeah, gr welcome to living the life on they the do earth. it with legos pokemon cards you name it every material any, item in, any, on the any. earth like it people are so funny because they they can diss this thing but then not diss that thing and then i've seen old that. cameras you take an old camera i've seen old cameras go for fifty thousand dollars and yeah. it's just a camera it's a, it's a body and then they're like but it's just shoes and it's just that and it's just this i'm like you're right but it's everybody has their thing for their world let them do their thing let this you know, we create these prices great. If you don't like it, get out of it. Stay away from it. Don't talk about it. Don't, I don't want to hear about it. But like, don't mess up the market. Yeah. For the long term of everything. It's like, it's like, remember when we used to go into Jordan? I mean, into uh, Nike. Mm -hmm. And they had all the old Jordans, one through blah, 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 yeah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had all the stuff there. Yeah. You went in there to look at that. Yeah. And yep. go... Oh my God! This is crazy. They had them in all white. A, they got them all here. Yep. It, but if you just releasing it, then it takes the value away from it. Yeah. Yeah. Man. I don't know. It's a. I think. Yeah. Again, not every single thing should always be available and all those other things. We can go on this topic forever. At the anyway, end of the day, we're on a tangent. Sorry. But about you know that. what's crazy though? <laughs> At the end of the day, I'm still gonna get a couple pairs. And, and he already got them all. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is gonna be one of those shoes that also is it's, it's gonna come out, but it's not mm -hmm. gonna be like widely available So it's still gonna be limited. It's gonna have value like the Wu-Tang Dunks I don't think the Wu-Tang Dunks should have came out the Wu-Tang Dunks just dropped They're going you know, they're like 500 bucks, but that was like a $40,000 shoe, right? And now it's like you just got the new release and it's Did like you check bucks. that out and see if they change the materials on it. I haven't uh, held them in hand yet mm. but I did have the other originals so that's what i'm saying you would know yeah that's what i'm saying i'm looking forward to seeing the new version you would know i had the original and the sample of the original from and we can say yeah. this i know we're going on with this for long but we've seen the shoes come out and like here's the original version yep and they dumbed it down and gave you some crap yeah. for the person that just every per everybody could just buy this shoe but it's kind of like buying a stripped down Cadillac. Well, why would you do that to the people just giving them a nice version? Right. Yeah. Like, don't don't strip it down. Don't produce it. <laughs> <laughs> Give us something new. Right? Yeah. That's all I'm just saying. Just create new memories. Create new moments. Create new drops. Create new things. Mm -hmm. Like, don't just always live on the past. Like, 
that in that time they were creating something new doing something different right. so why can't we do the same thing let this new shoe new model be the new moment piece type thing instead yeah. of being like oh we gotta go get the old thing again because you know what i'm saying that's what i'm saying all right let's go to the next topic all real right. quick we got the shadow 2.0 air jordan 1 high 85 so bringing back the high 85 colorway i don't remember if this was like an og sample colorway i think it was like an alternate sample colorway I'm not sure that then is now coming to life i can't remember but this wasn't an og released colorway i gotta do some research i forgot let me know down below in the comment section uh but either way it's a part of the 85 uh set and i'm like i need every colorway so and i like the highs you know me like, i like highs right. make my foot look a little smaller the black has it on the there and make it look good and this is an easy wear like you could wear this with anything yeah so this would be one you would cop Shit. i would definitely cop i would try to probably get two if i could retail they're gonna be taxing they're probably gonna be charging like two 225 for some ones now yeah lot. but but this is one of those shoes you go, ah, I wouldn't mind at 225. No, I'm like, I don't know. It, it, I, I, would, I wouldn't mind at 225. I just don't want to pay 400. Yeah, I feel that. See what well, I'm saying? Shit, you're going to pay 400 it's, it's, if you buy two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, I get two. <laughs> but then size 14s be hard to get sometimes. Yeah, I feel that. And they be trying to whop me. Yeah, I feel that. Okay, so it's like a knockoff Chicago colorway, but it's the Varsity Red Air Jordan 1 High OG and a women's colorway. So they switched it up a little bit with the color blocking. Kind of similar to a Chicago, but not. And I and think it's a great shoe though for the but, girls. Yeah, but at the same time, I'm like, it's just so close to the Chicago. Like, why are we doing this? Well, like, because girls wear more red. They don't need the black. I get it, I get it, it but I don't this know. small size. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think like if this came out even in my size, I would probably pass on it. And I could almost feel like people would customize this shoe, turn it into something else. You know what I'm saying? Right, right. Like I could potentially see something like that. So for me, yeah, it would be it a pass. It kind of give me that dunk feel that, yeah. you know, the red and white dunk. coloring. Yeah. yeah, that blocking, how they did yeah, that. I feel that. Okay, now this one, I like these a lot. <laughs> these are fire. But this says it's a women's colorway, so I don't know if they're gonna come out in our size. The metallic gold Air Jordan 5. These go crazy. The only problem I see is they're not gonna make this in a 14. Oh my god. <laughs> I gotta have this shoe. These are they're not gonna make it. Crazy. This is this yeah. is okay. Um this gives me the feel. I know this is a little uh, oxymoron. This gives me the feel of the Will Smith shoe. Yes. The this, um, this gives me that feel. You know what I mean? That 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 look, that craziness. It gives me that that feel. You know what I mean? How that but, pop like that. I know they're different colors, everything else, but there's nothing I can describe like that look. And to me, this is a must-have. Gold. I'm a gold. five guy. You know, everybody know I like the fives. So if anybody can come across a 14, holler at your boy. No, there's this sample set. Oh my God. That's what it looks like. I, I'm like, it's clicking in my head, but I can't think of it. It's, it's, it's a, they, um. This gives me that vibe. I know y'all seen these plenty of times. Yeah, you know, Will Smith. They only made a few of these. DJ got two pair. <laughs> Is what it is. Life is what it is. Somebody, <laughs> <laughs> somebody got to get him right. <laughs> he didn't get a 14, though. <laughs> yeah. Where is it at? All right, well, all this right. This gives me that vibe anyway. Let me throw this out the way. Let me, no. let me. All right, before I get out of here. Oh, right here. Boom. See. Oh, that's a six. This is a seven. No, oh, that's a seven. This. Yeah. This is. I just thought about it because I'm like, this looks like the Olympic uh, five. So this was a sample. Mm -hmm. I'm like, why do these look so familiar? Because I've seen them in person before. I've seen this whole set. So this set, I got the uh, picture on the screen for you guys. I'll try to find the picture of the set. But this was like uh, Olympic gold medal high something. And I can't remember who it was for. Look at those are the 10s. Oh. You see the 11s in the background? Ooh. I, th I showed these on my YouTube channel before. Yeah. Like some years ago. But either way, that set is crazy. So the entire Jordan set, one through 23, or I think they went higher than 23. Either way, they did every single model with that color. Gold. Yep. I think you saw I them too. Yeah. When was out yeah. in LA? Yeah. So I'm like, why is it? I'm like, I'm thinking I see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's where it came from. 
So it's just coming to life now. Right. So this, this is, is one I wouldn't be mad for them to come to life for everybody. <laughs> But see, that was like, that was a very exclusive sample set. And we've seen that done before with the Pantones and different stuff like that. Uh, so it, it, that's like, I don't know. It's this, hard to explain. This kind of goes against what we said no, earlier. No, it does. It but, does, but it doesn't. Because this is something that people didn't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like the Undefeated 4 was like, well known, one of the most sought after sneakers, all right, these different right, things. Right, right. This is like a shoe that like, if you know, you know, your high end level sneaker sample collector, different stuff like that. And like, most likely they're not gonna do the same materials as that shoe. You see what I'm that, saying? No, that looks similar. That looks very similar. No, but no. either way, that's like a whole different realm, right? Like yeah. I just showed you guys shoes that like people don't know about. So it's like, you see what I'm saying? This could oh, be one of those things. <laughs> so I think it's interesting when that does happen uh but it does suck because i'm like it would be fire if they dropped an entire set like remember they did the countdown packs and it was like one through uh 22 uh -huh. and then the 23s dropped if they did that but with the entire set of all the shoes dropping throughout the year the same color they did it on the two pack two pack two pack two pack or one or multiple releases in a month whatever if they did that it would be dope like 28 days of flight where's that one at let me see i'll show you mm. this one like right here they did this entire pack every single shoe with these materials these colors all the different stuff so this was called the 28 days of flight so they did air jordan 1 through 28 they did a really good job though you see what i'm saying yeah. now that was like the sought after thing that you see in the store but i'm like it'd be dope if they had did a display and then later mm -hmm. they're like yo let's drop this and we're gonna give it to the public like years later like uh, like two years later or something they display it at every nike town then they drop it and it's like they only make x amount like they'll be 10 per store or something and you like oh to they're gonna be back fighting you see the line. like that would be dope that would you can't they're say that be back would be fighting dope. The line, no. so imagine they did the whole set with the gold with the red like that and then and then they got like X amount of drops per city, all the major cities, and it's like you try to complete the set and put them all together, or they do like a regional thing. So it's That'd like, be killing me how some cities get more shoes than others. Man, especially Portland. How we in shit. Portland and we get the least amount sometimes on some of these drops? This people don't understand. like. This don't even make sense. People are like, oh, you lucky you right there. Yeah, the, yeah. You got all the shoes. Right, right, they didn't right. come here. Right. They don't Wait, even be Where did we go? We was in um with me, you, and uh Booper. Oh yeah. Where was we at? New Orleans. New Orleans. Yeah. We didn't get the shoes here. Yep. But he bought like 10 pair down there, but. Yeah. Or 12 or something. I don't we know. Had the we whole had car two full. stacks and a thing. But my point is, is the shoes wasn't coming here and we didn't get the shoes. Yeah. We went there and got the shoes and people didn't even realize they was really dropping. It was like, right. This is crazy. And the dude was like, oh, you can get as much as you want. Well, let's go in here and do this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's. <laughs> crazy I that's rare that. <laughs> but anyway yeah sometimes being out here you just don't get the selection we get like the one side store. selection suck yeah and in the amount that they release in like the travis scott's and stuff that come out like sometimes they don't come out here or if they do it's like such limited quantities or like you don't even get our sizes available and if so they might be like one of the people at the store worked there so they took it and then now yeah. you can't even get it and they'll be like we Too got fair. 12 and under you're like bruh yeah, whole other topic. Y'all gotta right. fix that. Y'all gotta fix that. We here. Portland, bring us Portland. The we need it all, all of it. All right, right here. Speaking of that, Swarovski, Air Jordan One Low. What? Remember I got the SBs? Yeah. That's that's too far away, but I. That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to those. These right here won't sit. They said it's a women's release though. Well, that's good. I'm salty because if they don't make my size, I'm still gonna have to get a pair. I was gonna say because can I can't have one and not have the other. You can cut out the back and wear them like house shoes. Make them dandles, <laughs> or I call them jandles, <laughs> Jordan sandals. <laughs> we used to call dunks dandles when we cut the back out. You cut the back out, you call just walk them dandles. On them. Hey, y'all, that's how it used to be when your foot, when your foot got too big. <laughs> it's like, well, I'm still rocking them. <laughs> All right, I'm Amanier, Air Jordan 5 OG SP. Looks like this is gonna be a men's release. Uh, they've done a couple releases already. White and burgundy, black and burgundy. Now you got the blue. These are clean. It's a must have. 
They're, me, you know me and Fox. They look icy. Like they this just. This is a must have. They're clean. Yeah. This is a must have. It's clean, super clean. All right, we got two left. Air Jordan Three OG SP. That could mean anything. We just got a question mark right now. So we're gonna leave that up in the air. You wanna guess any colors? I'm gonna say green. Some type of green. I feel like we didn't see that many green shoes. I'm gonna say white and blue. White and blue. All right, we're gonna see what happens. Whoever's closest or whoever gets it right, you gotta buy the other pair of pair of shoes. Nah, 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 nah. We gotta do 10 push-ups on camera. <laughs> 10 push-ups? You sure you wanna do 10? Okay, maybe eight, cause I might not make it to 10. <laughs> <laughs> all right all right here we go so this one is what is this dongden don't don't say that too fast <laughs> <laughs> air jordan 13 low this is an instant pass for me yeah i'm not really feeling that myself it's like they was reaching for something maybe it's a collab or something what you gonna wear with nothing I mean, yeah, I don't got nothing. Some people do be wearing shoes that don't match nothing in the outfit, yeah. and I kind of look at that like, why'd you do that? And is that for us to look at the shoe? Yeah, I don't know. That one, that one's a pass for me. So okay, there's a lot of shoes that we went through. The colorway is cool. It's just the wrong colors. <laughs> <laughs> so the colorway is not cool. <laughs> Color blocking. Yeah, that's what I mean, you know? The color blocking is cool. It's just wrong color. There's a ton of shoes that we went through. Um, as you can see right here on the list, is there any way we can pick our top three or should we just say F it? What do you want to do? You want to wrap this up with a top three or top five or do you want to get out of here and just be like, these are all the shoes that we looked at? No, those are my top three right there. What's your top three? Go ahead. That one? White cement four. White cement four. Mm -hmm. That blue, this one right here. UNC ones. UNC ones, and I'm going with the I'm going with the red. The Ferrari fourteens. Top. Even three. though I like fives, don't get me wrong, I like the fives. Okay. And I like them elevens. Damn. And I like the gold ones. Ah! <laughs> okay. What's yours? What's yours? What's yours? I'm going trophy room sixes. Right. White cement fours. That's uh -huh. three. I'm going trophy room sixes, white cement fours, and I'm going. Damn, I'm excited about the great fives and the UNC ones. See what I said? Oh. And, the UN, and the undefeated fours. And if the I knew them gold ones was coming out in our size. Okay. Trophy room sixes, white cement fours. What else am I really excited about? The UNC is a two pair. I think I'd, I think I probably put something on there that I don't already have, like a variation of. You know when what I'm are they gonna make that? I'm saying I already have UNC ones. <laughs> I'm saying when are they gonna make a shoe that you don't already have? Right, right, right. <laughs> um, <laughs> damn, that's tough. I'm gonna go. Oh. I think that's why he has so many shoes because he can't make up his mind. I pick quick. <laughs> Done. Yep. Hey, look, he's still like. Try to figure it That's out. Try to figure it out. Okay, okay, okay. Trophy room sixes, white cement fours, and it's gonna be a toss up. Between, ah, you didn't figure it out. It's gonna be a toss up between undefeated four and great five. I want them undefeated fours. I just got offered a pair of the samples, uh -huh. and I'm like, prices are going down. It's crazy. You gotta need that right now. Yeah, but I'm like, I'm I'm not doing that. I gotta. I'm gonna just wait for the release. Um, okay. Let us know what you guys think down below in the comment section. Did you guys enjoy this video? Make sure hit that subscribe button and make sure you guys check out his pages as well. I have them linked at the end of the video and then also in the description. All the information was on the screen and shout out to Z Sneakerhead as well for posting all this information on his page. Make sure you guys go check out his Instagram. I think he has TikTok, YouTube, all the other stuff, Twitter, everything too. So make sure you guys check that out. And um, you got anything else? I was just gonna say we got a video coming up on my channel. With with Joe. With Angry Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll get that one up, too. It's coming up, y'all. Check us out. And, uh, you want to show him anything else before we go? No. Not on your channel. You want me, you want me to show him no. some shit that I got? <laughs> it's football season. I got some cleats. Oh, yeah. Let me see real quick. All right, hold on. I'm going to show you two things. Let's see real quick. You ain't seen these before. 
It's all throwback. He be coming up with a little something. Andrew Jones, oh, Turf man. Bottom, Air Jordan 3s. Oh, man. They did good on this shoe. Hell yeah. Wow. Okay, the next Turf one. Turf Bottom. The next one, I gotta find it. Ooh, if Dang, I find DJ. It, what? They did good on this. It's dope, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, this next one. Open this one up. Oh, hold on one more time. Let him get that one one more time. Oof. Oof. It's football season. Oof. It's football season. Go Steelers. Go Steelers. Oh, you know what? If you're a Dallas fan, you can wear these. <laughs> you know what this is right here? No, I don't know who this is. T.O. Pro Bowl 2008. Cowboys, when he played for the Cowboys. I just said that. <laughs> Grail. Oh, Grail. If you know, you know. I've been in on this cleat oh. stuff for a long time. Charles Woodson, Warren Sapp, T.O. is raw to me. T.O. Randy Moss, all that stuff. T.O., they didn't get him in the Hall of Fame yet, huh? Slacking. They hating on him. <laughs> Why y'all be hating on T.O.? Hey, T.O. is goaded. I don't care what people say. But this shoe, crazy. This, I might, one, this one he got money in. I got some uh I got some other stuff too. I ain't I, I ain't really showing him a lot of the cleats. We don't yet. even like cowboys. No. But this shoe well, right I here like though. T.O. I like T.O. Oh T.O. Man, one sure. day I'm gonna crack open all the cleats and let him see. One day we gotta let T.O. look at this again. T.O., if you see this, sign this. Ah! Come and sign these. Let's make a video. We'll fly you out. <laughs> and then you can sign this. Yep. I'll send you right. And back. you can come in here and check. No, you ain't coming in here. Nah, nah. <laughs> There's too much in here. You can't come in here. <laughs> you ain't grown up yet. Boy, once you grow up, you can get in here. But we'll still fly you out and sign you, and then you send you right back on the plane. <laughs> All right. That's out. I'll show them some more next time. Oh. We got plenty more stuff. I said Dallas, seen too. That's seen that? Yeah. I was like, fire. that's Dallas right there. Those are fire. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Mm -hmm. See y'all in another one. We out. Peace. I would never let you down and send my DNA hey, hey, The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today I would never let you down and send my DNA The only